What's up, Kyle Gang? Welcome back to some mechanics and materials. So we have a tube that's being subjected to uniform distributed torque, right? So it's just got a uniformly distributed torque across the entire beam. Uh, it's 1.2 kilonewton meters per meter. So it's also a tube, right? So it has an inner radius and an outer radius. And our goal is to find the shear stress at point C, which lies halfway of the uh, one meter long tube. So let's solve for it. So to do that, we're gonna be using the equation. Uh, shear stress is equal to torque times the radius divided by the polar moment of inertia. So torque, right, torque is what's the force that's being applied at that point that you're at. And we need to figure out what that's gonna be first. So if you're looking at this rod, right, this constant applied torque is being applied to the end. And when you're gonna find what the torque is at a point, you're gonna start at the free end, basically. You're gonna see what is happening here where there's no torque. So B, there's no torque acting on it, right? It's free to move, and then the distributed torque is gonna get bigger and bigger as you get further down the rod. So we wanna find what it's gonna be. We're gonna take zero, and then we're gonna add it to basically how much torque is applied over that half a meter distance. So to do that, right, we're gonna take 1.2 kilonewton meters per meter. And what we need to do is we multiply it by the distance that it's acting. So from B to C, it's half a meter, so it's gonna be times 0 0.5 meters. Now this meter and this meter are gonna cancel. In order to get that our torque is equal to 0 0.6 kilonewton meters. All right, so this is the torque that's acting at point C. That's what we can by torque of C. So then C is the radius, basically. The radius is the distance from the center of the cross-sectional area to a point, so C lies on the surface. So it's just gonna be that outer radius, the 30 millimeters. So all we need now is our polar moment of inertia. So let's solve for that. Raise this chair up a little bit there. All right, so the equation for polar moment of inertia, all right, it's gonna be pi over two radius to the fourth. That being said, uh, when we have a tube, we need to get rid of that area on the inside. So the equation for a tube becomes uh, radius outer minus radius inner, or not squared, which is the fourth. So let's plug in our numbers, pi over two, outer radius, 30 millimeters, so 0 0.030 to the fourth, then from the inner radius, 0 0.020 to the fourth. All right, so then you're gonna solve this, you're gonna get that J is equal to 1.021 times 10 to the negative sixth meters to the fourth. All right, so very small number. So finally, we can just go ahead and solve for this equation. So we can find the shear stress at C is equal to the torque, we can find it to be 0 0.6 kilonewtons. So if we want to convert, we can keep it in kilonewtons, uh, or we can convert it to newtons. So let's convert it to newtons by multiplying by 1,000. Then we're going to multiply it by radius, which is just the radius from the inside to the outside, which is going to be 0 0.03 meters, right, that outer radius. And then we're going to divide it by our polar moment of inertia, which we just found 0 to 1 times 10 to the negative 6. And you're going to find that our shear stress at C is equal to 17.6 times 10 to the 6 Pascals. And that's our answer. All right. So, not too tricky, right? Just about knowing our equations. Uh, if you're struggling with this, I solved a whole bunch of problems very similar to this problem. Uh, feel free to check those out on my channel. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.